Ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, we like to read you a random Bible chapter. I thank you guys for joining me this morning. Uh, because a verse just, uh, you don't get everything out of it. So let's read the full chapter. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ezra 4. Here we go. Ezra 4. Now when the enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard that the people of exile were building a temple to the Lord God of Israel, they approached Zerubbabel and the heads of the father's households and said to them, Let us build with you, for we like you. Seek your God, and we have been sacrificing to him since, since the days of Asahadon, king of Assyria, who brought us up here. But Zerubbabel and, and Jeshua, the rest of the heads of the father's households, of Israel said to them, You have nothing in common with us in building a house to our God, but we ourselves will together build the Lord God of Israel as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Then the people of the land discouraged the people of Judah and frightened them from building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their counsel all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, and even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Now in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes, Bishlam, Mithradath, Abil, and the rest of his colleagues wrote to Artaxerxes, king of Persia, and the text of the letter was written in Aramaic and translated from Aramaic. Rahum, the commander, and Shimshai, the scribe, wrote a letter against Jerusalem to, the, to King Artaxerxes as follows. <laughs> then wrote Rahum, the commander, and Shimshai, the scribe, and the rest of their colleagues, the judges and the lesser governors, the officials, the secretaries, the men of Erech, the Babylonians, the men of Susa, that is the Elamites, and the rest of the nations, which the great and honorable O Snapper deported and settled in the city of Samaria and in the rest of the reign beyond the river. Now this is the copy of the letter which they sent to him. Two kings are two King Artaxerxes, your servants, the men in the region beyond the river, and now let it be known to the king that the Jews who came up from you have come to us at Jerusalem. They are rebuilding the rebellious and evil city and are finishing the walls and repairing the foundations. Now let it be known to the king that if, the si if that city is rebuilt and the walls are finished, they will not pay tribute, custom, or toll, and it will damage the revenue of the kings. Now because we are in the service of the palace and it is not fitting for us to see the king's dishonor, therefore we have sent and informed the king, so that a search may be made in the record books of your fathers. And you will discover in the record books and learn that that city is a rebellious city and, a, and damaging to kings and provinces, and that they have incited revolt within it in past days. Therefore, that city was laid waste. We inform the king that if that city is rebuilt and the walls finished, as a result, you will have no possession in the province beyond the river. Then the king sent to, an answer to Rehum, the commander, to Shimshai, the scribe, and to the rest of their colleagues who live in Samaria and in the rest of the provinces beyond the river. Peace, and now the document which you sent to us has been translated and read before me. A decree has be, been issued by me, and a search has been made, and it has been discovered that the city has risen up against the kings in past days, that rebellion and revolt have been perpetrated in it that mighty kings have ruled over Jerusalem, governing all the provinces beyond the river, and that tribute, custom, and toll were paid to them. So now issue a decree to make these men stop work, that this city may not be rebuilt until a decree is issued by me. Beware of, building, of being ne negligent in carrying out this manner. Why should damage increase to the detriment of the kings? <clears throat> then as soon as the copy of King a King Artaxerxes' document was read before Rehum and Shimshai, the scribe and their colleagues. They went in haste to Jerusalem to the Jews and stopped them by force of arms. Then work on the house of God in Jerusalem ceased, and it was stopped until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. There we go. 
There we go. Little, 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 uh, little, little slice of history for us, right there. Ezra four on the random Bible chapter of the day. Wonderful guys. I thank you guys for joining me this morning.